what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? I'm Mike Tyson, or Evander Holyfield, in a rematch. Part three. Who you got? I saw this video of Mike Tyson, actually two videos of Mike Tyson training. Mike said he's coming back to do some exhibition matches, make some money, give some to charity. Evander Holyfield says he's down for a rematch. So Evander made himself a training video. And Let's just say Mike looked more prepared. Mike looked ready. Mike looked strong, fierce. Now, Evander could be playing possum or perhaps Father Times has caught up to him. They are going to get in the ring for an exhibition match. I am going to watch it. <laughs> I would like to see that. Now, as you know, Holyfield has beaten Mike twice in the ring, both stoppages. Now, There's a thing called having someone's number. In boxing, styles make fights. And Evander Holyfield's style of boxing paired with Mike Tyson's gave Evander an edge. And this is why Mike couldn't beat Evander when they were in their prime. I mean, Mike would damn near anybody. But he just couldn't get over the hump called Evander Holyfield. Evander had his number. It is my firm belief that Evander Holyfield will not be able to beat Mike Tyson in an exhibition match. They're supposed to be going five rounds. I don't know if they're going three minute rounds or two minute rounds, but it's gonna be very interesting. When they first met as professionals in their prime, I thought Mike was going to destroy Evander. After all, I had inside information. My friend, John Horn, was Mike's manager. And after Mike had gotten out of prison, his first fight, I think that was Peter McNeely, he fought that dude and knocked him out in the first round. I called John right after the fight. They were at the hotel, he and Mike were at the hotel. And I said, you know, I congratulated him everything. And he was like, I said, what's up with Mike? Where y'all headed? And he's like, man, Mike want to go to a uh, training camp. I said, what you talking about? He said, he said he don't want to go out. Uh, he want to go to training camp. I said, what you mean? Like, like, like right now, he's like, yeah, he want to go first thing in the morning. He want to go to training camp to fight Evander. He said, Evander, he said, Mike going to kill that motherfucker. That's what he said. Mike going to kill that motherfucker. I was like, ooh, that was impressive to me. Anybody who's ever boxed knows you do not go to training camp the day after a fight. You relax. You decompress. Then you hit the reset button and take off. When John told me that Mike was ready to go to training camp the next day, I went to the barbershop that Tuesday talking cash shit. I'm like, yo, I'm talking to everybody. Listen, anybody want to bet on the fight, I'm paying two to one. If you don't understand math, I'm talking cash. If you don't understand math, that means if Mike Tyson win, you pay me a dollar. If Holyfield win, I'm going to pay you two dollars. 
If Mike Tyson wins, you pay me $1,000. If Holyfield wins, I'll pay you $2,000. I'm talking shit. Not in a fight. And I'm sitting here in shock. Evander cleaning up. Before the fight started, little cat that used to hang around me, he was like, man, Evander going to win this fight, man. Evander going to win. And I bet him a low punk $5. I like, bet $5. And I sat there in disbelief. I couldn't believe it. And then it happened again in the rematch. That's when I stopped bet betting on boxing. That was the last time I bet on boxing. That was a long time ago. But who knows? One thing about boxing, boxing is called the theater of the unexpected. Once you get in that ring, anything can happen. Who you got? No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.